Good evening, everyone. Now, what is the reality when we enter? We are now going inside the station. Now, look at. Have a look now. So, most of you are correct in your assumption. Dr. Asma also thinking so. Dr. Asma, right? You are thinking the yes. same? Yes. Okay. So, the diagnosis could be that much easier. It's true. Now, when we come to the station talking about looking the patient's eye, usually in the exam, a picture will be shown. For that, we actually our, we design our practice session in that manner to make it almost near the real station. Virtually, we are designing. So, if picture shown to you, your diagnosis obviously that it could be style. But it is not the everything about the station. Now, Dr. Asma, other than diagnosis, suppose this is style, what other information you like to gather from the patient? Can you tell? Sir, we will ask about uh, VN is um, vision. problem with vision yes why, why you are thinking the vision problem or just because it's related to eye uh, uh, related to style first ask something about related mm. to style ask something about then we'll go to the other topic okay think yourself Dr. Subhan, now it uh, the patient should ask uh, about uh, he is diabetic or not. Why you are thinking to ask about diabetes? Because this uh, can be risk uh, to this uh, infection. Uh, maybe a patient has, uh, uh, if the patient has diabetes, then he can get this uh, infection too much, very frequently. Continue coming to Dr. Maru, please. Yes, sir. What about uh, your opinion regarding antibiotic Yes, sir. If uh, <clears throat> there is too much swelling, pain and swelling, and uh, if there is some systemic like uh, fevers like that, and there is any secretion uh, or maybe from there any past discharge like that, uh, so that time uh, I will prefer to give, sir, antibiotics, sir. You are already looking the lesion, so no need to create another scenario. You are already looking the lesion. Yes, sir. So in this situation, what you will do? Uh, in this situation, sir, uh, first uh, the non-pharmacological management, sir. Uh, I will give. I will tell the patient to take just a tablet, uh, uh, just to hot compression and then inshallah i mean hot compression and the another one is if there is even there is uh, pain is not subsided or if he, he or she is feeling problem then i will prescribe sim simple uh, paracetamol like that uh, even uh, sir not progress then uh, uh, i will go through for antibiotics sir dr fazal please patient is not diabetic and lesion is as such or patient is young so, when will you give it the party in the style? Sir, actually, the thing is that the management of the style is only generally uh, hot compress, uh, number one. And secondly, if there will be any, uh, you know, uh, some collection inside this style, so we will just uh, do next, uh, that is called the mechanical removal of debris. And uh, the third one, uh, we can just give artificial trigger only. If the patient has a complaint of dry eyes, so we can just give this tears. This is the total treatment of this kind of the patients. Will there be any need of antibiotic without diabetes as well if patient has no, 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 no need of antibiotic because this uh, is a general rule. Any, any, anyone has any difference of opinion? Is there any need we, of antibiotic we, for any we, reason? We, should we do this pick any mechanical uh, removal or only compression is enough hot compression? 
because sometimes it, compression enough, sometimes you have to remove the hair follicle. Then the pass will come out. You can do or you can send to the ophthalmologist also. As a GP, you can do. If patient is not, suppose, is not diabetic without any other comorbidity. So a GP also can do it if you are trained. Okay. But asking about the antibiotic, if you go through the book, you will find if sty is associated with conjunctivitis, then you can give antibiotic, local antibiotic. Dr. Fazal, okay now? Yes, sir. Thank you. Sir, so, so it needs means that you need to expose the conjunctiva down to see that conjunctiva also inflamed or not. So there are some small tricks are there. If you don't go to the go through the book, that information are needed. You cannot get the answer. Okay, so you entered and you got the patient as such. Now you are actually thinking yourself in your mind what did not you ask and what you need to do. So this is a complete list already we discussed before. As a summary, the bottom line in this case, that you see the diagnosis is very obvious, but we need to ask diabetes, hypertension, or any other immunosuppressed condition, then the management plan will be a little different, not only antibiotic. If we ask about the diabetes, patient is diabetes, then we will ask about the control or non-controlled diabetes. If it is uncontrolled diabetes, patient need hospitalization also because patient need insulin treatment. So the discussion may go beyond our imagination also sometimes. So this is called the holistic approach and complete consultation. In addition, the points we have shown here already, you know, we shouldn't miss it. Everything, everything. Uh, so any query in your mind now regarding this case? So first uh, important uh, presentation we like to discuss is the red eye. So as a GP, we need to think the common diagnosis first, maybe some rare issues also. So who will raise the hand please to say the causes of red eye, few common causes of red eye. Dr. Fazal, please. Hello. Yes, please. So red eye can be occur in uh, allergic urinitis, uh, allergic conjunctivitis. Okay. And uh, uh, this conjunctivitis can be vector or can be viral. Okay. Red eye so can one, occur due one, to... reason, one reason is conjunctivitis, right? Yes. Then, then... then the second reason is systemic Ill disease. Like... Uh, 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 enclosing spondylitis okay or rheumatoid arthritis is it conjunctivitis or different thing scleritis basically i am talking about okay then and whenever there will be scleritis definitely the red eye will be there okay any other cause and uh, what else uh, yes uh, maybe local trauma can be cause local trauma okay. foreign body Okay, correct. Red eye. Okay. Or uh, like uh, an isolated, if there is a collection of blood, isolated uh, hematoma, uh, conjectural hematoma, uh, uh, sorry, conjectural hemorrhage, it can be caused due to red eye, caused due to high blood pressure. Okay. Okay. And these are the things in my mind, sir. Dr. Abdullah, please, any addition from you? Uh, Subconjunctival hemorrhage. Already, already mentioned. Any other thing? No. Uh, whenever we have given such symptom, uh, how to organize our thought process? First is that the red eye, the one eye or both eye. Dr. Abdullah, please, can you tell red eye in one eye? Any cause? A red eye in one eye, maybe trauma. One eye, uh, subconjunctival hemorrhage can be in one Not eye. Not always one eye, maybe both eye also. Okay. okay. There. And uh, red eye with vision problem. Red yeah. eye with vision problem. Dr. Fazal, again. Due to the contact lens, it could be. Contact lens is the usual cause of red eye, you mean? 
no no i mean the visual problem maybe the, mm. the complication of the contact lens could be there anyway other which is the glaucoma yes and there is a pain also as well a red eye with pain without pain one eye both eye you have to consider in this manner 